Hey, what's up guys? I'm Evan. Today I'm going to talk to you about Expo's Image Picker module. So this module will allow you to pick any photo from the gallery, like this depressed looking Evan photo right here. Edit any kind of photo with whatever ratio you want. You could also open a camera, a native camera, and then take a picture. And uh, yeah, then get like a URI from that or Base64 image. But if you want a quick way to get an image, this is the best module for that. Now if you wanted something with more functionality to it, something like say you wanted multi-select in this, uh, this gallery right here, you wanted to pick multiple pictures of me looking sad, I would suggest that you look at the media library uh, module which is uh, provided by Expo. It's a really great module as well. So let's go ahead and look at it. Here's the docs for it. Of course, Expo docs, link will be in the description. You see they have all the available options here. They also have this really great example, one that's probably much better than the one that I'm about to show you, but oh well. So here is the code for this, uh, this library that I'm running right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a picture of something else because my face is really bumming me out. Cool. All right, so let's look at this code first thing we do is import image picker from Expo and then we have two main functions here that we're going to look at. We have the select picture and take picture uh, and to do this we're also going to need the permissions module from Expo. Now there's going to be another great video on this. I'd recommend you check it out if you don't know how permissions work. Now let's look at some of this UI. Of course uh, this is assuming that you know a little bit about React Native uh, already at this point. You can hit this prettier button, clean up my, my nasty code. Alright so you see we have just a, a generic container, then we have our image and a, a row with two buttons here and those buttons have on press methods which will select this function or this function. Hopefully you know what all that stuff does because we really just want to focus on the module right now. Oh and then lastly of course we're using the state right here to update the image once we've picked an image. So say for instance we hit the gallery button, we're going to call select picture. Once we do that then we're going to have this async function because we want to ask for permission to the camera roll. Now if you don't ask for permission to the camera roll, this method will throw an error saying that you need permission to the camera roll. So we're going to go ahead and ask for that and we want to await the promise that it returns. And then we're going to call imagepicker.launchImageLibraryAsync. LaunchImageLibraryAsync is the function that you're going to use to launch this bad boy, the image library asynchronously. And you can pass in a couple of options. Now of course these are the options that I was showing you over here on the docs. Uh, things like allows editing, aspect ratio quality, if you want a base64 uh, string returned, and if you want the EXIF data, which is stuff like uh, the GPS tag and information about the camera, that can be returned as well. Uh, and then allows editing is what will give you that that little crop box. Look at, look at this little guy. So. This is the editing. If I was to turn allows editing off, I wouldn't get this box and it would just go right to resolving the image. Okay, so after we launch this, it's gonna return a promise which will resolve into an object that we're deconstructing canceled and URI out of. So canceled is called if you were to cancel out of the modal. For instance, if I came in here and I hit cancel, that is going to return this value as true, which in some cases, uh, maybe you would say like, if not cancelled, then update the image. And now when the image is cancelled, it won't set a new image. This method will only be called when uh, an image has been picked successfully. And once an image has been picked successfully, this URI value will return with the local URI pointing to where the image is. This will be something like file, colon, slash, slash, and then some long string pointing to where the image is, and we can use that to render the image or download the image or whatever we want to do. So that's the select picture method right there. And then the last thing we want to look at is this take picture method. So same kind of deal. We're going to ask for the camera permission right here. Uh, if you don't, this method will throw an error, this image picker dot launch camera async and launch camera async. Uh, it does exactly what it says it does pretty self explanatory. Uh, you can hit the camera button and it will launch the camera asynchronously. Now you have some options here. You can flip the camera and you can also turn on like the flash. I think you can also zoom in. So you got a couple of options. It's still not too pretty. If you wanted a nice custom camera, you could build that using the Expo camera component. But I think this is like pretty good just for what it is. 
uh, which is just a quick and simple way to get an image. Now again, same deal with the launch image library. It's gonna return canceled and URI. Same kind of options here. You see I have allows editing as false, so it didn't give me the crop box. And then we're going to update the state with that URI, which updates the image. Anyways, guys, that is the Image Picker API and Expo. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if there's any other module you want to see explained, be sure to leave it in the comments. Uh, I'm Evan Bacon, and I will see you in the next video.